Hey, it's Denise from Lumahead.com and on this video, I'm going to show you how to do the diamond lace stitch. So row one is real easy. We're just going to e-wrap that row. So you know that you wrap all your pegs and then you come up back and you take your bottom loop over your top. That's an e-wrap knit stitch and that's row one. Okay, for row number two, um, because I'm doing a flat panel, I want you not to consider this as my peg one. This is just my turning peg, which I slip because I'm doing a flat panel, okay? But of course, if you're going in a round, there is no slip stitch. So this is your peg number one, and that's what I want you to focus on. This is my peg number one. And for row two, what I'm going to do, and again, it doesn't matter the direction that you're going in either, you're going to do the same thing. Peg one, we're going to skip because we're doing a figure eight. That's the first thing we're gonna do. We are skipping peg one, going to peg two, half wrap peg two, and come back and wrap peg three. Because we wanna do a figure eight with pegs two and one. Go ahead and knit off. And then what you do after you do that first figure eight is from this point on, regardless of how you're knitting, you're not going to skip one, you instead will skip two. So here's your working yarn. You're going to skip one, two, and go to the third peg and do a figure eight. Okay, you got that? Now this stitch, nothing's going on with this peg here. You've skipped it. You come here now and you do your figure eight. Your working yarn is now here. Usually when you're going to do a figure eight, you only skip one, but in the diamond lace, you're going to skip two pegs. My, here's my working yarn. I'm skipping one, two, going to the third one, and I will do my figure eight. And I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to skip two, one, two. I skip those. And on the third peg, I half wrap, come back and wrap the one before it and knit off. Okay, one last time. I'm going, my working yarn is here. I'm going to skip the peg next to it and the next one and go to the third peg and half wrap, come back to the one next to it that I've skipped. Now I'm going to come back and wrap it so that there's only one that I skipped truly. And I'm going to knit off. That's row two. Row three, I'm going to e-wrap. This is row four and it's our last row. And again, I'm remember I'm doing a flat stitch and so this is my slip stitch, doesn't count. Now this becomes my peg number one. And on the fourth row, we're going to e-wrap that first peg and then continue with the same pattern we did on the second row here on peg two where we come here, we've knit number one, now we come here and skip two, and we're going to do a regular figure eight with pegs three and two. Knit off. That was your first figure eight. And from this point on, you're going to skip two pegs and half wrap that third one. Come back and wrap 
the one before it which will create that figure eight and knit off and continue until the end doing that your um, working yarn is here on your peg you're gonna skip the next two to go to the third and half wrap and come back to the one before it and do that figure eight in essence your figure eights are sitting between skip pegs that's basically what's gonna happen after that first set that you do when you begin rows two and row four and that's it that's your diamond lace stitch and we'll see you next time hope you liked it ciao